What your player sees when dynamic lighting is turned on will depend on your player's token setting. We covered page settings in a previous video, so now that you have dynamic lighting turned on for a page, double click a player's token and click the dynamic lighting tab. The first section includes the different vision settings you can apply to this token. By default, if vision is not turned on and this token is assigned to a player and you have dynamic lighting turned on, your player will only see darkness. In order for your player to see anything on the board, you will need to turn on vision. So if we save these settings and go back to the board, our players now have sight and can see the torch. Pretty cool. Now because our token does not emit a light and there's no light source near them, they can't see what's around them. Let's fix that. Double click your token and go back to dynamic lighting. Toggle on night vision. You'll see a few features pop up. Distance, tint color, and sharpen effect. Let's choose how far our token will be able to see without light by typing in 10 feet. And because it's important for us to tell the difference between emitting light in our area and our dark vision, we're gonna change the tint color to red so we can tell the difference. Let's save changes and check out the results. Great, our token can now see 10 feet around them and is shown with a red tint. This is great for differentiating between light, what all players with vision might see, and night vision, what only our player can see. Let's take a look at that sharpen effect. Double click your token, go back to dynamic lighting and click sharpen effect. Save changes. You'll now notice a subtle sharper detail to your map. Depending on what type of background you're using, this might help you differentiate between night vision and the map. Lastly, let's double click our token. Go back to dynamic lighting tab and turn on limit field of vision. The total size of your field of vision is represented in degrees. Now, because the average human has about 120 degrees of peripheral vision, I'm gonna type in 120 here. Let's save changes and check that out. Great. Our token updated and our field of vision has now been limited to what's above us. With our token selected, we can hold the letter E on our keyboard and use the mouse wheel to rotate our token in 45 degree increments. If we hold Alt while we do this, we can make a more precise rotation. Also, you can rotate a token by grabbing the blue box above your token and turning it. It will snap to a 45 degree angle. Holding down Alt while rotating will give you a more precise rotation. Okay, let's go back to the token settings and the dynamic lighting tab, and let's change the direction of the vision without rotating our token manually. The artwork we're using makes it seem like our token is looking directly right. So in the limit field of vision section next to the center, let's type in 90 degrees and click save changes. Great, now it looks like our vision is in the right direction. This field of vision rotation works in a 360 degree clockwise circle. So zero is straight up, 90 degrees is right, 180 is straight down, 270 is all the way left, and 360 is straight up again. You can set your token's vision to any number between zero and 360. So have fun customizing your player's experience.